Do you have time over All Star Weekend to kind of process everything that happens? Um, a little bit, a little bit. Um, but the media, the the whole circus of, circus of it all, and then packing my stuff and moving here back here was uh, was tough. So these past couple of days, I've gotten to kind of hang out and really start to realize what happened. You didn't get the trophy that you said you'd want to have in the dead next to your dad's trophy. Right. But you do have a video that will live in perpetuity of side by side of you and your dad almost doing a carbon copy dunk. What do you take away from accomplishing that? Um, the dunk contest was a blast. You know, uh, if anybody had to win, Don was, Don was, uh, he did awesome. So I'm happy for him. Um, but you know, at the same time, those are those are moments that I don't know if any father or son will, has ever had. You know, that's uh, uh, to me the coolest part of it all. And I'm already I'm already having several pictures blown up and, and you know to be framed and stuff like that. Did your dad know you were doing it? Um. <laughs> As much as a secret as I could keep it, I mean, he was like, oh, what are your dunks? I'm like, well, I have three, like, going into the contest, and they just, like, didn't tell him the last one, so I'm, I assumed he knew something was going on, but I, I kept it a secret as I could. What do you expect the motions to be like tomorrow, playing in, at the Hue in front of these fans as a member of the Cubs? Oh, I'm so excited. Um, you know, even when I was with the Lakers, I, every year I looked forward to, you know, coming back here and getting to play, you know, under my dad's jersey in front of my family and stuff like that. And so um, tomorrow getting to do that for the first time of uh, hopefully many, many times will be really exciting. What was the approach of the team at practice today? Um, we wanted to run off, uh, run off the break, you know, um, just uh, kind of get our legs back underneath us, get to get some wind back. and and uh, you know, hammer down some, some of the plays that, for the newer guys. What's the, um, kind of what's the emotional gear shift like for you to go from a team that might not have been playing for a championship to a team that's going to? Um, it's, uh, I don't know if it's more so emotional than it is uh, like mental or physical. You know, we were you know, on a team like this with a veteran team, it's more so mental reps in practice than anything else, going over plays. And, and going over the other team's plays, whereas with the Lakers it was more physical, you know, because we're not going to be playing into, or I shouldn't say that, um, the likelihood of playing into June is, is probably less or so there than it is here. Um, so it was a lot more live reps in practice, a lot of physical, you know, kind of, uh, you know, beating on each other a little bit more. Will you not let, try not to look over at your family tomorrow? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I, I'm just going to enjoy it. You know, uh, obviously when I'm in the game, I have one focus and that's to win um, but yeah if I catch my if I'm on the bench or in a timeout I catch myself kind of drifting like this is really real um, yeah I'm sure it'll be it'll happen so there was a little bit of buzz about whether or not you'd ever be able to wear 22 here and your dad asking whether or not you could mm -hmm. where does that stand um, I'm 24 right, right, right now um, we'll revisit it in the summer but um, with with everything that just happened so fast, I wasn't about to go to the Cavs management and say, "Hey, what would you think about taking 22 <laughs> down?" And then, um, but I don't I don't want to see it come down. So if there's some way where I could, uh, you know, even drop the junior off my jersey and just kind of wear the Nance 22, but I'd like I'd love to you know keep it up there. Um, I'd also love to wear 22, but I, I just don't want to see it come down. So we'll revisit in the summer and, and see. What's the toughest thing about being traded back home? Have you found anything that's like, well, that wasn't what I was expecting? Trying to convince my mom that I'm not living at home. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> we're out looking for uh, rental properties and stuff like that. But she's like, oh, I've got, you know, our basement's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably been the toughest thing. <laughs> Larry, what advice has your dad given to you about tomorrow, if any? Um, not, not really anything, you know, it's, uh, it, at the end of the day, it's basketball, you know, it's, uh, um, I'm already starting off better than he did on his, when he got traded here, you know, I think they lost eight in a row, so I'm doing pretty good, <laughs> um, but, you know, so we're, uh, he, he doesn't really have to tell me anything, it's just, you know, make winning plays, play the, play, uh, play, I mean, they traded for him for a reason, so I'll play that way. The challenge is, is having the, having that all-star break pop in there, I mean, Everything happened in a whirlwind. Mm -hmm. You guys win, win those two two big games, and then you got a pause, right. and you kind of you know naturally halts your momentum. So now that the challenge of maybe picking up the, that momentum again and, and kind of getting going, where, where is that? Um, you know, we 
We'll see if it holds with our momentum. No, we had a we had a pretty successful All Star break. You know, with LeBron winning the MVP and his team winning and everything, and I uh, um, was pretty pleased with myself and my performance and everything like that. So we had a pretty successful All Star break. So uh, um, we'll see if it holds the momentum, but I, I don't think so. Especially with a veteran group like this, together, I think we're going to be pretty good at just kind of keeping the train rolling. You mentioned how this team mentally does things different in, in terms of physical and all that stuff in practice. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the guys that have played here before have talked about the mental grind and just preparing themselves mentally to play into June. And you already knew about that. So where did that come from? Who gave you that information of this is going to be a little bit different? Um, even with the first couple, I mean, I got like a half practice in, you know, before I got traded or after I got traded. So you can even tell in that little bit, you know, where it's, it's less, uh, you know, just pressure on your bodies, you know, not going up and down, not playing live too much it's because a veteran group is, is locked in like that. So for me, it was very different. You know, I, I, I kind of switched over to that when, you know, after talking to a couple guys, you know, asking questions like, hey, yeah, why aren't we, we're not playing live? And uh, so it, it just, uh, like, you learn that. You learn that from guys you're around, and I can't say I've learned it immediately, you know, because I've been here for like three days. Um, but that's that just kind of comes with with uh, talking to people and you know kind of silently watching.